All right, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. A quick video for me today. Seems to be a common theme now. But it is officially brown trout season here in Ireland, Northern Ireland and Ireland. And I've been itching to get back at them, especially with my boat being sold back in December. You know, um, I've really only been doing the same sort of thing and I, I like to mix things up. So yeah, but nitsing to get back at these. And uh, really I'm actually on my lunch hour, believe it or not. I'm coming down to the river, the shrine down beside my house. It's full of trout, so I'm hoping to catch a couple. Um, yeah, so as I said, lunch hour. I couldn't wait to the weekend. I'm seeing all these pictures of everybody catching all these brown trout and I'm stuck in the housework. Um, so yeah, lunch hour brown trout. First of the season, hopefully. It feels like spring. It's really, really warm. It's nice. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. But anyway, let's get at it. Wow. It's good to see it again. There's a fairly, fairly strong flow, so I don't think I'll be doing a lot of wading. Bit of colour in the river. Sticking with the same outfit that I've used last season. And I really, really loved it, so I don't think I'm going to be updating my rod and reel. Start off with the wobbler, plenty of flash, colour isn't too bad, to be honest, there's a bit of clarity on the river, so just really looking forward to getting the first fish, come on, but yeah, as I said, I'm going to stick with this outfit for, for this season, I've actually ordered a couple of different weights of the same rod, because I'm going to use them for my area trout fishing as well. There's a fish. <laughs> what a take. What a take. Literally seen him shoot in at 100 mile an hour. Get the Chris in my new net as well. Oh, get in. There we go. On the wobbler. He's just hooked himself in the fin as well and is jumping about. Anyway, I'll get him unhooked and get him back, but first brown trout of the season. Love it. Hopefully the first of many. Okay, so that didn't take long getting the, the first one. Actually not a bad one either for this stretch. So we know the method works. I know there's a chance of maybe getting a few now. Hopefully. It makes it all the worth the while, especially when I know I've only literally got an hour to try and uh, scratch the itch that I've had for months now. Right, so first lure of the year lost. And one of the, it was the last wobbler I had in that colour as well, which is not great. Um, let me see. Let me try something different. I'll try that one, the three stand yoke. Um, or maybe this, a handmade one. Maybe I'll go for that actually. Need to get some new ones, definitely. Such a tackle hungry game. Guaranteed to lose so much tackle throughout the season. So another really nice corner. That I've done well before out of. But a lot of the spots are not fishable usually because it's so shallow in some parts of it. Come on, try it. So I'm trying not to revert the spinners all the time. As much as I enjoy using spinners and 
I'm, I'm trying to stick with things that I want to get better at. So fishing with wobblers, fishing with soft plastics. You know, I want to learn, so I'm trying to use those more than than anything else. I've missed the river so much. Love it. I'd love it more if I were catching more trout. If that was the bottom or a bite there, but it felt like there was head shakes from it. There we go. <laughs> I knew that was a fish in there. He's already up, he's only a wee one. Lovely spots in this guy. There we go. Stunner. Thank you. Given that it's in flood, and the water's still in reasonably good order. A bit of better water in there, a bit of staining in it, it's not it's certainly not crystal clear, but it's not bad. Okay, that's what we're going to use. It's one of the prime lures, fished on a one gram jig hit. Let a bit more of the hook show on. But yeah, that's it. Cast that out, let it sink to the bottom and just trot it down. And hopefully something nails it then. Okay, this looks good. One of my favourite spots here. Of course there's loads of overhanging trees which make life really difficult. But it's, it's probably why it's good. No interest so far. Thought we would have had a couple of plucks, but nothing yet. Just there, like that. That was a big hit. Ah. Oh. Okay, back on the handmade wobbler. It's already worked for, so we know it's not going to be an issue. You can fish it a bit slower as well because there's less flow on first cast. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. We'll get out of there. 
Look at the bend on that rod, and it's only a tiny fish. It's the joy to fishing with a light tackle. And strong flow, and of course having a big long net like that helps too. Excellent. But it also just goes to show you the chains in it up. You know, I had three or four, five casts, whatever it was, with the with the soft plastic there. And I had one small take, that was it. First cast with the wobbler and straight away. Just the end of the big deep corner, there's usually a fish or two lying in here. Just like that, that was a big bump I just had there. Right, so a bit of interest in here, that's good. The last spot, can we get the last fish of the session? That was a good bump there too. Where'd you go? So there's a nice wobble off this lure just on its own, so I'm just gonna instead of twitching it, just reel it nice and slow like a almost like a crankbait. Nah, it flows very strong. I feel like I maybe need to put something heavier on. There we go. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Michael! Ooh, a solid. I'd call him a cousin there, he just looked at me, he's probably fuming. Probably the flow, I think, has made it so much better. Oh, nice. What a fish to finish the session. Please stay on. Oh, <laughs> you could not write that. Please stay on. Gone. Oh, Simon, you crayon. Why did you even say that? When I said I wanted one more fish before I left, that wasn't what I meant. But it just goes to show you that's what the trout are eating. Right. One more cast here and then I'm going. That's the one. You wish you could cast like that? You would need to fish. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I think that's the fish I lost earlier. Thankfully I've got my cousin with me. He's came down for a nose out and he's gonna net it from it. Wait now, wait, he's just not done yet. That was literally my last cast. Literally my last cast and nailed it. Now for this river that's a really nice fish. I know I've fished this river most of my life and you don't get a lot of fish that size with certain times of the year but for the first session of the season that's uh, I'll take that all day. But get it back. Yep. That's it. What a, what a start to the season. My cousin Michael, you can see him walking up the hill there. He came down for half an hour. He lives right beside here as well. Thankfully, because he netted the fish for me. But um, not a monster by any stretch, certainly, compared to the fish that I caught last year. But for you know the first session of the season, and it's only an hour, and hooking into something like that, it's just 
outstanding but enjoyable nonetheless even if it was a very short session so thank you for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video